Go ahead and try it now for yourself. Um, and this was the tribe problem. Each one fourth cup of cereal has three grams of protein. So one fourth has three grams of protein. How can you use this graph to determine whether the the quantities are proportional and to find how many grams of protein are in one cup? So obviously we can use the information. Every one fourth is another three grams. So I've gone from one fourth to one half. That's just another fourth. So now I'm up to six. And then I add another fourth. Now I'm up to nine. And then the grid kind of expires or is doesn't expand far enough. So that'd be 10, 11, 12 would be about right there. Okay. So we're following the trend. We're following the pattern. We can create a line. I guess my point was a little bit off, but we can create a line for that. So again, we uh, feel one cup is 12. So we could have done that through the graph. We could have done that through expanding a table. And now to convince it's uh, how can you find the constant of proportionality for the coordinates of one point on the graph? So any one of these points, we know that this is proportional, um, but I could take any point, uh, the, the given point that we have is one fourth and three. So we're taking the y coordinate, which it's x, y is an ordered pair, right? So we take the y coordinate divided by the x, so it's three divided by one fourth. So do you remember how to divide? Keep, change, flip. So we have three over one being divided by one fourth. So that's three divided by one fourth. So keep it, change the sign, and flip the fraction. So what do we get? 12 over 1. So that's what we thought. Um, that's our constant of proportionality. So y equals 12. x is the equation we can write. And if I plug in 1 fourth there, I'll get 1 fourth of 12 is 3. Or if I plug in 1 half there, 1 half of 12 is 6. So we're just reconfirming these points that we found. Look at that, I fixed that point. Now it looks like it's on the line. Just gonna make a bigger dot.